Hey guys, what's up? I'm really sick! So now I have to take all this medicine to make myself feel better and drink so much hot tea, I'm gonna turn into hot tea. Oh, I just poured medicine over me. Oh no. So even though I'm sick, we're gonna try to get through this video together. Send me those good vibes, bring it all here. And let's continue. So I really hate high maintenance friendships. Now luckily for me, I don't have too many or really any high maintenance friendships and by that I mean people who are bothering me because they want to hang out because they probably feel like they haven't seen me in forever even though it's probably been like only three days at most but the ones I have experienced are the ones where it's like hey like I'm kind of busy or my phone really really sucks and I can't message you back right away so I might have to message you back in a few hours maybe I'll message you back the next time I get the chance maybe I'll message you back tomorrow I know that can get annoying but I mean, come on, face it, when you're out of high school, you don't really have time to go ahead and message everybody back as soon as you can. Things change after high school, you know? People get more distant, you really find out who your close friends are and who your real friends are because you actually hang out with them outside of school and not inside of school. And you start to have an understanding that like you don't have to be on top of someone and they don't have to be on top of you all the time. You gotta respect you all got your own lives, you know? I'll talk to you because we're friends. I'll talk to you because I like you. But that doesn't mean I have every waking moment to message you back. Now luckily for me, if my close friends see this video, they ain't gonna get upset. No one in my close friend group is gonna be like, oh man, did you direct this video towards me? Now maybe some people that I don't talk too much or isn't really close friends with or gonna get a little upset with me probably stop talking to me because they're gonna think that this message is directed towards them and I just want to say it's not directed towards you but you gave me the video idea so why am I not gonna post the video I mean I kind of just say whatever I want anyway so at least I'm being honest and me hating high maintenance friendships doesn't mean I hate the person just means I hate all the work to keep the friendship going it's just why, why stress myself out over that if you can't understand that I got other things to do? Got other things to do. And my phone's got other plans. It wants to die. So, if someone is sending you this video, they're probably hinting at you that you're one of these people that complain that you don't hang out with them that much, even though you kind of always feel like you are hanging out with them. Or you're one of those people that just get upset that they don't respond right away. Meanwhile, they, they can't help that sometimes, okay? They have a separate life. They have their own life to live. They can't be responding to you 24-7 or like every like 10 minutes. There can't be a time limit for a reply on a message, okay? It's just, you guys are friends. Respond to each other when you can, okay? If you start ignoring each other straight up all the freaking time for like days, then you can talk about it. But if a person's like, hey, I have no issue with you and you have no issue with me, we're trying to have a conversation? Fine, who cares how long it takes, really, right? I have many of those going on. And if any of you out there use the excuse that you have anxiety, look, I know people that don't have anxiety that do the same thing. It doesn't matter if you have anxiety or not, but I will honestly say the anxiety does kind of push it over the edge a little bit more than most people. And some of you out there are hypocrites when it comes to texting, okay? You want to complain to, to others that they don't know how to hold a conversation. Meanwhile, you're over here responding like two, three word responses, even one word responses. I mean, come on, how about you hold the conversation, okay? I cannot tell you how many times a person's kind of gotten upset that I haven't really like responded to them but meanwhile there are times where I'll leave like paragraphs you know conversations just to make them happy or just because I actually have something to actually talk about and I feel strongly about and then I'll get like two word responses and then I'm looking at them like really huh you want to complain to me <laughs> no 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 I'm playing this game no I don't got time for this game I don't got time for this middle school high school BS okay I got my other friends and other things to deal with I'll play some video games for hours I'm sorry if I don't respond to your text message I Nope. So yeah, without getting into too much detail, everyone, please don't be that friend that just is very high maintenance and wants to like be on top of you so much and wants to like hang out all the time. When this person's got another life, don't like get mad at them through text messages because you guys don't text like every day or respond fast enough. Just that's too much stress. Just be more chill and laid back about it. It doesn't matter. Just let it be what it is. All right. And that's my advice to all of you. And, like I said, if you get this video, I'm sorry, but take some advice out of it. It doesn't mean that they're 
hating you and saying they don't want to be friends with you by getting this video. They're just saying, man, like, please, chill a little bit, and this will all work out. Alright, that's my message to you guys. I'm Joey. Peace out. I'm losing sleep, lot of smoke so I can breathe. It's too dark, it's too loud in the city. If I had a god, I would say he was wrong.